TV KPM. Hello everyone, you are now watching Road to Success SPM 2021 together me, Sean, as your host. Now before I begin, I want to remind you to always follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19 to flatten the curve, such as wearing your face mask, make sure it covers the entire mouth area from the top of your nose all the way to, down, uh, to the bottom of your chin. Also make sure you frequently wash your hands with both water and and soap and if you can use the hand sanitizer to sterilize or to sanitize your hand and also when you're among other people make sure the distance between you and that person it is at least one meter apart and before we begin you already know the topic for today is english and the title or the uh, topic that we're going to be discussing today is being a teen and before that let's have a look at the profile of the teacher that will be with us today And with me right now is the lovely Miss Hidayah. Very good evening to you. Hi. And uh, thank you for joining us. And before we begin, how about we practice some SOPs sure. over here at the table? Yes. And I will just proceed first with using the hand sanitizer. And now over to you. Okay. Now it's very important to always make sure your hands are clean to yes. stop the spread of COVID-19. Obviously. And yes, and because uh, our distance, I think, is at least two meters apart, yeah. uh, I'd like to <laughs> ask you to also remove your mask and I'll do okay. the same as well. Okay. Okay. And now, uh, when uh, for those of you watching at home, when you remove your mask, please ensure that you keep it in a safe place. Don't leave it on the table, on the floor, on your head. <gasps> oh no! Please keep it in a safe place. Like the teacher and I, yeah. uh, we have a special case just to keep our mask so that yes. it is nice, safe, and clean. All right. And right now, um, now that you can see our lovely teacher's face, I'd like you to introduce yourself once again to our viewers at home. Okay. Hi, everyone. Hi, my name is Miss Nur Hidayah. I'm currently teaching in Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagantara, Sabah Bernam, and I already have been a teacher for 12 years. For 12 years? Oh. But you look really, really oh, young. What's your secret? You. Um, just smile always. Okay? okay, all right. And of course, with us today, it's not only just the both of us, there's also some amazing students that are with us online right now. Let's see who yes. they are. Hi. Hi, everyone. There we go. All the fresh Hi. faces ready uh, to take on uh, the subject for today. And uh, what I'll be doing is I'll just be mentioning your name. All you need to do is just introduce yourself. And don't forget to uh, show your greetings or give your greetings by putting your hand on your chest. And you can bow a bit if you want to. Okay, we're going to start off first with uh, mm. Alif. Hi, my name is Muhammad Alif. Uh, I'm from Sekolah Agama Menegah Bagian And I really can make for to learn today. Thank you so much, Alif. I'm also excited for today. Uh, next, we also have uh, Katija. Hello, salam alaikum. My name is Katija Maria. I'm from Samogantara, of course. Uh, and I can't wait to start our class today. And so am I. Moving on to the next student, uh, we have Nadira. Oh, sorry, Nadra. My mistake. Um, hello and good morning to everyone. My name is Nurul Nadra Miti Muhammad Sufian. I'm from Sekolah Agama Menengah Bagan Terak. And I feel so enthusiastic, enthusiastic to learn English today. Alright, thank you so much. Uh, next, Aina. Hi and Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Aina Farina Binti Kamaruddin. I'm from Sam Bagan Terak and I can't wait to share the lesson with you guys today. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we have Nurul. Nurul Hanani. Hello everyone, my name is Nurul Hanani Azira Binti Kamal Zaman and I'm from Sambah Hintra. I'm looking forward for today's lesson. Alright, thank you so much. I'm also very looking forward to it. And last but not least, we have uh, Siti Noor Ra. Hello and Assalamualaikum everyone. My name is Siti Noor Binti Batu from Sambah Hintra. 
can't wait to learn English with you guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. I am super, super excited for our lesson for today. But before that, um, I believe you have something that uh, the student would like to do before we begin. Yeah. So we will start our lesson with the prayer first. So Adi Arif Shaki will head our prayer. And those out there who are non-Muslim, you can recite your dua, your prayer, um, according to your belief. Okay, Alif? أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم آه الله الفيزس and gratefulness for you this day of one to our prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم آه الله forgive us and our parents please them as they did to us since we were a child آه الله please receive to our prayer please open our heart and soul to receive your guidance and knowledge to achieve your blessing and divine goals thank you آه الله آمين يا رب العالمين Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. And now to actually find out what we are actually going to focus on today, uh, Miss Hidai, maybe you can tell us more about what we're going to touch on today. Yeah, basically today, thank you, Sean. Basically today, we will learn something in Form 4. We actually do some revision on full blast. So okay. we are using uh, linking words or phrases, and we also learn about planning how to write. How to write. Yeah. Okay, okay. And also the topic is very interesting today. Yeah. Uh, being 18. That brings me back to the time when I was young, younger, <laughs> yeah. and probably the time when I had hair. Maybe you can go into uh, or tell us why exactly are we using this as a topic. So actually, it's um, um, it is one of the component that we will use in the mm -hmm. examination actually. So okay. perhaps that everyone are prepared. Uh, Please take notes and inshallah you can use it during your examination. All right. And before we proceed further, how about we take a short break and we'll be back to you for Road to Success SPM 2021. Don't go anywhere. Dede TV KPM. Dede TV KPM. Dede TV, KPM. English is very crucial in our lives, especially nowadays where English is absolutely everything. So in order to catch up with the rapid rise of modernization and technology, English is the key. And I hope that although we have COVID-19 and recently the changing of the new format, hopefully that every single of you who are watching right now will get A+, plus, especially in English. Why we need to learn English? As we know, Many people do understand or do speak English as second language in many countries. We need to learn English because English will help you understand different cultures and allow us to communicate with people all, from all over the world. Besides that, English will increase your chance to get a job and continue your study. Lastly, you can improve your skills in speaking and talk confidently with someone. Why we need to learn English? First of all, English is the um, language of science, aviation, diplomacy, computers, and tourism. Knowing English increases our chances of getting a good job in a multinational company within your home country or of finding work abroad. In addition, English is the language of international communication, so no wonder it is the official language of 53 countries and spoken by around 400 million people across the globe. Dede TV, KPM. And we are back for Road to Success, SPM 2021, together with me, Sean Steven, and also Miss Hidaya. For the subject of English, the topic is being 18. All right, so let's begin our lesson for today. Over to you, Miss Hidaya. Yes. Hi, everyone. So today, before that, are you ready to learn? Yes, perhaps everyone are ready here. And make sure that actually success starts with S, but it begins with you. Wow. So yes. you have to take action for you to do to, to make a success. Okay? Okay, so basically the learning objective for today, we will learn to use at least two linking words or phrases where you can refer in page 57 and you can use the three steps on writing an essay presenting advantage and disadvantages. So you can refer this from page 63. Okay, so are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's share this because we want to have a very wonderful lesson today. So I have a question here. 
Do you think it is hard being a teenager? Hmm. Is it hard? Um, I would say personally, yeah. I think in general, it, yeah, sure. um, we as a, because we are already adults, yeah, right? Yeah, we are already adults. So we know that being a teenager was just like a phase where we thought everything was hard. But yeah. actually putting myself there as a teenager, mm. there's so many changes happening around me, with yes. my body, with the people around me, and mm. you're getting all these emotions and mm. all that. So I would say at that point of time, yes, being a teenager can be hard. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it can be hard. Yeah. That's a wonderful experience to share with us, Sean. Yeah. Thank you. How about we listen from our students' yes. opinion? Yeah. How about we choose, Sean, you want to Shall choose, I choose anyone? Okay, yeah. okay, let's just see who yeah. has the biggest smile. Okay, it looks like Alif. <laughs> yes, Alif. Alif, you can, yes, uh, Alif. <laughs> Would you like to share your opinion about our topic today? Okay, personally, for me, I think that being a teenager is not quite hard because for me, I didn't have much any uh, problems to think of, but you still have the problem. So it's not quite hard. Okay. okay, it's not that hard. Okay, not that hard. Okay, okay. Yeah. that's yeah. good. Okay, how about we listen from other students too? Thank you, Alif. Okay, we choose another one. Okay, okay. Sean? let's see whether we have any volunteers. Ah, any Anyone volunteer? would like to raise uh. your hand? You can answer, <laughs> or else I'll have to choose the lucky person. Yes. Anyone? Aina looks like she wants to answer. <laughs> yes, Aina. Okay, Aina. Um, my answer is no. For me, that as teenager is fun because we don't need to uh, carry any big responsibility as a, our character as a child. Um, teenager phase is where we learn how to be independent, making our own decision, and many more. Okay. Well, that's a very interesting yeah. uh, point. All yeah, right. yeah, responsibilities. Oh. Yeah. So the responsibility. Sometimes we think that. Some, some, sometimes people think that, teenagers think that responsibility is hard and difficult, right? Yeah, but some yeah. of the students love the responsibility because it builds up. Uh, they yeah. builds up to be a dull, independent yes, person, correct, right? It really builds oh. like a, uh, not, not like a tough character, but also <laughs> you know, gives you that sense of, um, uh, what's the word, like, like holding on or, yeah, I can't think of the word now, but it, 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 like you said, it <laughs> yeah, builds I, you I up as a person, that. right? Yeah. yeah. You want to listen to the last one? Okay, one yeah. more. How about we try? Okay, let's see. Now mm. we choose someone who is not smiling. Looks very, <laughs> very, very serious. Uh, Nadra, uh. would you like to try? Uh, okay, Nadra. Uh, there we go, that nice <laughs> smile. <laughs> um, well, in my opinion, it's kind of hard being a teenager because you have to know how to control your feelings, your emotion. Most of the time, teenagers who's in love or currently in a special relationship are more likely affecting their education. So yeah. Mm. Yeah, that is actually very, very true. <laughs> yeah, sure. I mean, I think we, I can I can relate to Nadra because I'm a very emotional person. <laughs> I'm the type of person that will cry when I watch a sad movie. <laughs> but yes, um, it's also, I mean, it depends on the person, right? Yeah. Because like she says, that, um, you know, in a relationship, uh, yes. even though, yes, our, obviously our main focus is on studies, but yes. because, you know, being because a teenager, we are dealing, it's very confusing. Actually, when we are growing up, we are dealing with emotion, yes. physically sometimes unstable, right? Yeah. So we have to face all these okay the teenagers right. out there you know this is something that very normal actually yes yes ah. something very relatable so do you realize that your friend already shared about the pro and the cons oh. you realize that ah some 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 of students say that it is okay it is not hard to be a teenager but some of them say it's hard to be a teenager right yeah, yeah. so we are going to our uh on that part okay. later Okay. okay. Yeah. Okay. Let us move on to um, what we will share with you today. So we are talking about linking words or phrases. Oh. Ah. Okay. Okay. Why? Why we need to learn this? Actually, linking words or phrases. Oh, before that, linking word or phrases is a word or a phrase that connects paragraph, text, or sentences, and it helps. It helps to link the ideas. It also helps you to get marked under the organization scale. Uh, very ah, important, yes. yes. <laughs> that is very important one, okay? Yes. So, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, let's take a look on the scale for a while, okay? Because I'm, t I'm telling you about the organization scale just now. So I would like to share with you some skills that we have in writing examination. Okay. Okay, okay? shall we? Yes. Okay, let me tell you the first one, which is content. 
content. What do we have in content? It is all content should be relevant to the task. Okay, so uh, afterwards I will explain in detail. Okay, number two is communication. Uh, sorry, communicative achievement, which is to hold target readers' attention and communication is straightforward ideas. So what it meant here is. For example, uh, Sean want to um, write something. Okay. You want give you want to give it to me. Okay. Do I understand what Sean are trying to give it to me? Ah, uh, do I understand the text or not? Okay. Ah, okay. so basically, communicative achievement is about that. It's about the message whether yes. if I want to send a message out, whether ah. it's received, and that's the achievement ah, that we're yes. looking for. Ah, yes, achieve or not. Okay. Okay. The next one is organization. This is what we are doing today. Okay. Okay, what is it? Uh, it is text. The text is generally well organized and coherent using a variety of cohesive devices. So this is what we will learn afterwards. Okay. Okay. And the last one, the skill is about language. English. Yes, obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's obviously you should write English, right? So uh, we will look on the vocabulary, on the grammar and sentence structure. But we will not cover that. We only cover on the organization part because it is in our textbook, page fifty-seven. So you can refer to that in full blast form four. Okay, it's not form five. Okay. <laughs> uh, okay. Let us move on. Okay. Let us take a look on the sample. On the examples, okay, we in the textbook we have four here, okay. which is the first one, listing and adding points. Ah, oh, shall we look? Right. Okay, so these are the examples. To begin, okay, start with, secondly, in addition, moreover, lastly, last but not least. Okay, we have another one, express, ex, sorry, expressing contrast. Okay, we have but. Although, while, on the other hand, on the one hand. Okay, these are the example for expressing contrast. Okay. Okay, and next we have for giving examples. I have two here, which is for example and such as. Yeah. Okay, and last one for giving opinions. We have linking words like, in my opinion, in my view, from my point of view. Bear in mind. This is what we have in the textbook, but actually there are a lot more out there. So yes. don't you worry if the list, <laughs> the, the words are not in here. Okay, this is only from the textbook. So yep. maybe you read somewhere in the uh, in the reference book. So don't worry. So you can use that too. All right. Okay. So basically, these are huh. the um, the words that is used as link uh, for to link one sentence to another. Yes. Okay. okay. So it helps you to 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 make the ideas flow smoothly. Okay. Huh. So maybe I can add an example to oh, that. Sure, sure. Yeah. So for example, hmm. if let's say I'm talking about a certain food, let's say I okay. like to eat. Um, Nasi kandar. Yeah. And then, I, then, and then, if I don't tell them why, if I just continue my sentence, mm -hmm. for example, I yeah. like to eat nasi kandar. It is tasty. It is uh, healthy. Uh, it is. Uh, <laughs> it's a combination of different curries. So, but, yeah. but then again, they might not be able to somehow catch what I'm trying yes. to tell them. But if I include, for example, like yeah. listing or adding points. So, mm -hmm. I like to eat nasi kandar. And to begin with. Uh, uh, it is tasty. Yeah, next, next, it has. Uh, it's very healthy. Yes. And last but not least, uh, it's a combination of different curries. So Whoa. at least people would know that yeah. I'm actually linking the first sentence, sentence to the, to the other is that, one. Is that correct? Yes. <laughs> you can get full mark for that, oh, John. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's just, I'm proud <laughs> of you. <laughs> okay. So let us move on. So students, are you okay? Okay. Okay. So oh. students out there, are you okay? So we. How about we? Try. Yes, yes. Maybe okay, we can get the okay. uh, students okay. to actually use those words that we have. <laughs> okay, we try to guess which category it belongs to. Okay. 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 Are you ready? I guess ready? Okay. For however, which category? Uh, how about raw? Would you like to answer that? Which category it belongs to? For however. Hi, Ra, can you hear us? Sorry? However. Ah, yeah, for however. What is the category? Uh huh. Expressing contrast. 
expressing Ex sorry expressing sorry? content Okay, Lexali. Yes, expressing, oh, expressing contrast. contrast. Okay, so, very sorry, well I didn't. Yay. Good job. Yeah, I think this is just some of the many limitations that we have yeah. uh, when we're doing um, what we call online or using using you know online classes or online uh, ways of connection or communication. Yeah. But that's okay. As long as, yeah. like you said, the uh, communicative uh, achievement. achievement is there. So as long as we got the message you're trying to send to us, well done. Yes, good job. Okay, so how about we try the next one? Firstly, ah. who's gonna try this? Okay, how about Hadija? Linking words. Linking words. Sure? Are you sure? Let's check. Firstly. Huh. Listing, Listing or adding? Yes. Points. Okay. Okay, kita, uh, we look on the third one. For instance, ah. huh. how about... Sean, you want to choose? Okay, um, let me see. I think uh, Nurul Hanani haven't answered yet, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, Hanani. Can I hear your voice, please? What's your answer? Oh, um, sorry. Example. Sorry, again? Giving example. Giving example. Giving example. Let's take a look. Mm. Yes! Hey, well done! Okay. Well done. We have another two. Okay. Okay. How about I believe? Oh. I believe. Ah. I believe I ah. can fly. Yes. Shaki, <laughs> 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 you, you you want like to try? try? Uh, I believe it's giving opinion. Giving opinion. Are you hmm. sure? <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> you lock it? <laughs> okay, okay, let's, let's see take a look. Is right. Yes. Giving opinion. Correct. That is right. You can collect your duet raya later from yeah. uh, Miss Hidayah. <laughs> yes, you can collect the <laughs> duet raya afterwards. <laughs> okay. The last one. Furthermore. Ah, oh, furthermore. Who? Would... Any volunteer? Any volunteer? Oh, oh yes, we have Nadra. Good. Nadra. Um, listing or adding points. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's take a look. Yes, That's correct. absolutely right. Well done. Well done. Um, could we go back to the slide just before oh. this, where um, mm -hmm. where we're talking about uh, like you were listing out all the types of um, yeah. what we call all the types of of uh, examples, examples of, of, of linking, linking words, words or phrases, phrases. right? Mm -hmm. So earlier I already gave an example for the first part, mm -hmm. which is listing uh, or adding points. Maybe someone else among uh, one of you who would like to try, maybe can give for each of this. Uh, because earlier you are able to already uh, mm. determine which category it's from. Yeah. Maybe you can go for the next one. For example, expressing ah. contrast. Maybe we can use some of the words over ah. there to somehow create a sentence. Is that okay for you? Oh, sure. Okay, so let's start <laughs> first. Uh, Any one of you would like to try? Okay, showing contrast. Any one of you which would like to, can give to try? Any example, <laughs> any example whatsoever. Earlier I talked about the food I love <laughs> to eat and you know I love eating. So maybe we can talk about something that you like doing, your hobby mm -hmm. or something that you dislike, but you can use all okay. these words as an example. Okay, how about you use expressing contrast just like what Sean told you just now? So any one of you would like to try? Okay, maybe I would choose... Uh... Uh, Shaki, you want to try? Uh, oh. Oh. oh, okay, okay Nandra. Nandra. Wow. Okay. Start Good job, Nandra. Yes. Um, I would like to use however. Oh, however, okay. okay. Um, I, will, uh, I love to draw, but uh, however, I only do it on my leisure time. All right, okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Right. Is that is is that okay? Is that correct? Mm, I think better for you to use but. But. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you could give us an example of how we could use however. Okay. So we can use however. Yeah. It's to show contrast. It, the situation is just the same actually. Just the same, so yeah. uh, the most suitable uh, for uh, Nadra's sentence just now, uh, you can use but. Ah, ah. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you so okay, much, Nadia. You. That was actually a really good try. Yeah. Um, uh, next, uh, maybe we could choose, uh, for example, oh, for ah. example, I just used it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just giving examples. examples. Any okay. one of you can Hanani, give a try. would you like to try using examples? Oh, I love eating. 
Oh, yes. okay. <laughs> We're in the same club. We're in the same club. You can join the eating uh, food club. club. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I like to eat nasi lemak too. Yeah, right? These are like the, two, the top two food I would eat yeah. any time of the day. Okay. How about we try... Um... Giving opinion, I think that we have. Oh, yeah. Had, giving uh, opinion. Yeah. So, who would like to try using giving opinion? Huh. Mm. Um, any I, volunteer? Any volunteers? Or else I'll choose um, someone that has A in his or her name. <laughs> I think everyone has A in their name, yeah. so any one of you could be the next uh, lucky person. I think Shakir is smiling there. Mm. <laughs> Alif Shakir is smiling there. <laughs> Which you like to try, Alif Shakir? Mm. Using, uh, giving opinion. Uh, uh, in my opinion, nasi mm -hmm. lemak was the best food in this world. Wow. Oh, <laughs> oh he can join your club, Sean. Yes, yes, he can. Definitely. You know what? Sign up, you're going to be the chairman of the club. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think uh, they have definitely demonstrated uh, very well, very good use of, yes. of each of these words. Um, and I think also, like you said, it's very, very important because yeah. um, I think linking words is, is very good, especially when it comes to what you mentioned, uh, communicative achievement. If you want to mention something, especially uh, these days, whether it's communicating online yes. or via the telephone or even um, you know, face to face, obviously we can't do that or we should minimize that because yeah. of the SOP. Uh, the right. com co communicative achievement is very important in that sense, or even organization, because yeah, right. even putting words up and down here and there, then yeah. people wouldn't, even if you got the use of the word correct, but if yeah. you put one message or one sentence in front of the other, you might not be able to understand what right. you're trying to achieve or what you're trying to send. But I think we're going to touch that later, right? Yeah. Yes, but before that, how about we take a short break and we will be back to you for Road to Success SPM 2021. TV KPM Did TV KPM You are now watching Road to Success SPM 2021 for the subject English uh, well, for connecting words yes. and phrases or linking words, linking and, words phrases. and phrases or, or to you uh, over to you Miss Hidayah Okay Thank you. Uh, so just now, the students already gave you examples for you to use. So don't worry, you try to use it. But remember, don't use it excessively, okay? Because too much will be actually, it will disturb the, the meaning of the, the, the sentences, right? right yeah. So use it appropriately. And uh, just to give some tips, you can also use this, not only for writing, but also for speaking. Oh, yes. Ah, yes, yes. Also for speaking assessment too. Okay, so we have already uh, studied about this. So let us see the difference between a sentence without, without linking ah, words. Ah, okay. Okay, I give you one example here. So take a look here. The use of technology makes all subjects more interesting. It motivates the students. The learning experience is more real. Okay, okay. this is no, um, no linking words or phrases, right? Yeah. So let me show you okay. the difference. Ta-da! Okay, so in my point of view, the use of technology makes all subjects more interesting because it motivates the students. Yeah. Moreover, the learning experience are more real. So, when you see the difference here, you mm -hmm. can see um, the flow is getting better than the first one. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, the first one is okay. Yes. But to get marks in examination, so you have to add on linking words or phrases to get some mark yes. under the organization scale. And if I don't mind adding as well, like yeah. the first sentence mm -hmm. or the first paragraph that yeah. you show, the first box, yeah, uh, the it first actually box? shows uh, if someone didn't really understand what mm -hmm. they're trying to say, it could be just three separate sentences yes. that may not link to each then, other. Yeah, they do not link. Yeah, and when you see for the, uh, the, uh -huh. the words or the sentences in the second block, yeah. you can really see that it's in his or in that person's point of view. Yeah. So that could actually say or mean that uh -huh. the, the first sentence maybe is not really a fact because if, it, if you just put it as per, it, yeah. it's, it looks like a fact, but actually this is actually someone's opinion. Yes, so it's more personal. Yes, yeah. that's right. <laughs> right. Okay. So, 
So our students uh, that are online, okay so far? Any questions that you have, you can always just raise yeah. your hand. If you have any question, you can yeah. ask. But if not, you can just give okay. us a thumbs up and we can proceed. All okay so far? <laughs> okay, yes. Okay. Let's, so let's, let's, let's proceed. Continue. Okay, because we are talking about examination, yeah. so we'll take a look on part two. Ah. Okay. Okay, well, um, for your information, in examination, in writing examination, we have three parts. Oh, okay. Ah, the, so the students out there, you have to write three parts of um, uh, questions. So the first part is email. Okay. Short, oh. uh, yeah. All right. A short messaging, uh, a, a, a sort, a, sorry, a short message. Okay. Where you have to write around 80 words. Okay. 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 And the second part is this one, just like this one. So later on, I will uh, tell you. And the third one is extended writing. Yeah. Okay. You have to write around 250 words. Ooh. But okay. bear in mind, the time limit only one hour, 30 minutes. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, so no. you have to manage your time properly. Yeah. So please study. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's take a look on the question for part two. So uh, here is the sample of the question. Actually, you can refer to page 63. So I'll read for you, okay? Okay, you must answer this question. You have to write your answer in 125 to 150 words in appropriate style. Okay, your class has been discussing, this is the question. Okay. So your class has been discussing about teams, teamwork in sport. And your teacher has asked you to write an essay about what are the pros and the cons of team sports. So, in your essay, you should write about the first one, the definition in the team sport, your participation in the activities, the pros and the cons of team sports. Write your essay using all the notes and giving reasons for your point of view. So, the question looks simple, right? Yeah. Uh, but we have to tackle the question appropriately. Okay, Ooh, well, okay. just now I told you about the content, right? So, here, we have three bullet, right? Yeah. So, this one referred to content point. For you to get content point mark, you have to answer all these three questions. So, make sure during the examination, you have to tackle these three questions, write it in your essay. Okay. Make sure you, you, you use that. What would happen if we, for example, did not give the definition of team Okay, sport? so obviously you will not get full mark for the content. Oh, even though our, our yeah, second even, and third part, I mean, yeah. if we were to do it okay. fully, we still will lose some marks. <laughs> even though you, uh, you write beautiful AC, yeah. but you did not uh, fulfill the task. Yeah. Yeah, so this one you have to answer. So okay. it depends. If the question um, asks you only two bullet points, so you have to answer and tackle these two bullet points. Okay. Okay, okay? so yeah. make sure you answer according to the question given to you. Okay, so do remember it's only one hour, 30 minutes for three parts. So I would suggest you to answer 20 to 25 minutes only. Oh, wow. So okay. don't write two. two. <laughs> Too, too long. long. So just within <laughs> the uh, 125 to 150 Yo. words ah, only. Ah, yes. Look at the limit. Okay, so this is uh, the, the AC. So make sure when you have the paper, when you have the paper du uh, during your examination, yep. please read <laughs> every single thing. <laughs> yes, yes. So, so make sure that you get all the information here. Okay? Okay, so you guys, are you okay? <laughs> okay, so let us move on. So uh, we will do. Oh, eh, sorry, sorry. Okay, so let us do something here. So we, I, uh, I take it out. One question: okay. What are the pros and the cons of team sport? Because usually teenagers are involving with sport, right? Yes. They love e-sport. They yes. love sports, right? Uh, so, um, uh, so I think uh, this question actually you can refer to page sixty-three. Okay. So, how about we think uh, for a while okay. and give 
Only 50 seconds, maybe? Yeah, just 15 seconds. It's more than enough. <laughs> more I think during the right? exams, they won't okay. have enough time to think they'll still have to. <laughs> no, but yes, always, I mean, it's very important to always plan your content yes. uh, before you start answering. Yeah, but, we are doing that yes, so now. Yes, <laughs> give me some time. I think uh, you also, uh, hmm. what uh, Miss Hidai is also showing right now, or maybe she won't be showing yet, uh, probably just a, a, an easier way for you to somehow gather or manage your yes. points so that you are able to come up with the best or well most effective uh, answering method yes. uh, for your for your questions and I think it's a very important topic as well for those mm. of you who are watching maybe if you are younger uh, and not in the uh, secondary school you might not know what is pros and cons huh pros mm. is that pro mean does that mean professionals mm. no actually pros and cons uh, refers to the advantages, advantages and, and also disadvantages. disadvantages the goods and the bads yes. of uh, in this case would be team sports yes yeah so uh, um, oh. Because earlier there was uh, the questions was definition of team sports, but we're not going to touch on that. We're going to talk straight away uh, about Two. the pros and cons. Yes. Looks like I've been already talking for more than a minute. How about <laughs> how about we let uh, our, our students? Our students do. Yes. Yes. How about okay? This is this is one uh, part. Before we start to write, you need to brainstorm for the ideas. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It will help, but please brainstorm. Um, according to the question, so oh, yeah. don't. <laughs> so sometimes students love to write uh, something that is improper to to the essay. So okay. make sure that you write something that related to the task. Okay, uh, this is one we call as uh, this one is double bubble map. Double bubble. Yeah, because okay. we have two bubble. Oh, oh, okay, okay, <laughs> okay. okay. Afterwards, yeah. you will see a lot of bubble around here. Okay, so we in um, uh, actually we have a lot of uh, my map. We okay. have a circle map. Okay. okay. We have a bubble map. Yeah. We have a, a flowchart map. And Ooh. this kind of question, pro and cons. We have two topics, right? So it's suitable for you to use double bubble map. Okay. Okay. How do you about because we actually we already done this during our form four. Do they still remember all oh. the lessons? <laughs> okay, okay. Let's check. <laughs> yes, let's, let's do that. Who shall we ask? Okay, who wants to do first? Any volunteer? Me. All right, oh. Aina. Oh, Aina. Um, I think for the first... Uh, okay, we talk okay. about the pro first. The pro, okay? The pro. Um, Oops, oh, sorry. Operate. Sorry? Can I just go for it? Cooperate. Let's take a look. Is it the same one? Yes. Oh, wow. Correct. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. How about um, another one, Pro? Aina, show. Please share one more. Uh, I think um, same interest. Same interest. Are you sure? Okay. Let's yeah. take a look. Yes. Wow. wow right. You have very a good, good memory there. Very, very good. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Aina. Okay. How about we add another one? Any volunteer for the second one? Four, four cons. Any volunteer? It looks like Khatija wants to answer. Oh, okay, Khatija. <laughs> She's smiling there. <laughs> um. Can I give the similarities of... Oh, you want to give... Cons? Okay. Um, uh, okay. You give you give it first. Later we check. Okay? Okay. What is the similarities? Okay. Um, pressure. Sorry? And pressure. 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 Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll keep that. I'll keep that first. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How about the last student? Okay. All right, thank you so much, Katija. We, we're you. going to ask for the next student ah, to yeah. answer, right? Okay, let's see who else would like to answer. Thank you so much, Katija, for yeah, that. We're going to hold you, on Adija. to that, which is... Uh, I will hold your answer. <laughs> what okay? was her answer just yes. now? Yes. Okay. Nora, would you like to do that? Yes. Ah, um, yeah. Uh, I think the cons is um, the players cannot... The players, um, yeah. Cannot get along towards each other. Okay, cannot, cannot get, get along, along with each other. Okay. Okay, all okay. of I can get along, okay. okay. And just now, I already show it to you. It's depend. Yeah. Yes. And the last one, just like what did you just say, is it, uh, is it correct? Oops, sorry. 
Okay, pressure. pressure. That's correct. Okay. okay, in a double bubble map, thank you, Ra. Okay, in double bubble map, we have uh, two topics, right? One yes. is pro, one is cons. Okay. So, um, in every difference, there will be similarities. Okay. Just like you and me. Yes. Okay. Even though we are different, yep. but we have something in common, maybe. Yes. We're, wearing, maybe. we're both wearing uh, spectacles. Yeah, yes. correct. <laughs> so, the spectacle should be in the... Uh, okay. In the center one. Yeah. Okay. It depends how many top, uh, points you have, so you can write in the center. Okay. Good job, everyone. That's very, very well Yay. done. Yay. Okay. So let's. Um, okay. How about you guys? Okay. I will give uh, divide um, each topic to each one of you. Oh. Okay. Uh, anyone want to do the cooperate? Okay, Aina, good. How about same interests? Uh, Aina, uh, okay, we will give you some time. I just uh, allocate the, the question to you. So later on, we will do it together, okay? Okay, so the second one, same interest. Who want to do that? Okay, Shakit, good. Dependent? Dependent? Uh, Nadra, can get along. Okay, Nora. Uh, who will do the introduction part? I will do the introduction. Okay, good job, Hadija. And the last one, last but not least, is Hanani. You will do the closing. Okay, good job. So I'll give you some time. I will try to explain uh, another part of it. How to plan our essay. Okay. So while I'm uh, trying to explain, so you guys please please take some time and try to write your answers. All right. Okay. For those out there, you can try too. Okay, let us move on. So, um, when we want to write, actually, yeah. we have to plan. Just now, we're brainstorming for the ideas, right? Yeah. And the second part, you have to know the structure of the sentences. Yes. Yes, we have, uh, we'll take a look. Okay. The first part is the introduction. So, introduction part is important. So, you have to write about the team sport, the pro and the cons in very general one. Okay, okay? so you, you can write that in the introduction. So introduction is to introduce the topic on both sides okay. of the topic. We have pro and con just now. Okay, and the second one, main part, two paragraph. Okay, so what do we have in the main uh, part, uh, which is. Uh, uh, it's two paragraphs. So one, to refer the advantage and disadvantages in separate paragraph. Mm -hmm. So we have two right. So don't combine everything in one question, uh, in one paragraph. Yes. So the reader will be able to see which yes. paragraph is for which point. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about two different things here. Okay. Um, and then <clears throat> it covers both sides of the topic equally. Oh, because you are pro with the team sport, so you write more. No. Oh, no. Yeah. You have to be... Um, equal. Yes. Okay. The last one should be the conclusion. So, what we have in the conclusion? So, to make a general statement, use phrases. You can use the phrases just now. Uh, we already know some, right? So, yep. we have a few here, like in conclusion, to sum up all in all. Okay. This is from the textbook. So, you can refer it if you don't, uh, did not get it. Uh, so, you can um, uh, refer to the textbook, page 63. Don't worry, if you don't have the textbook, you can ask your teacher to have e-textbook. Okay. Yeah, yeah, actually the government had helped all the teachers mm -hmm. to uh, and give us uh, e-textbook. So, you can refer to that. Even though you are in Form 5, you still can use e-textbook. Alright, that's ah, great. It's very useful, actually. Yep. And the last one, state your opinion. So, you have to sum up everything. Remember, in the conclusion part, yep. okay, the last part, don't add new points. Yes, because it's already the conclusion part. <laughs> yes, so you want to end instead of adding more <laughs> points. All right, so how about we give some time uh, to our students online to yes. you know, get their essay going and we're going to take a short break and we'll be back to you for Road to Success SPM 2021. TV KPM D-Day TV KPM 
And we are back for Road to Success SPM 2021 with uh, Miss Hidayah as well as me, Sean Steven, as your host. So, uh, earlier before the break, we asked the uh, students to prepare uh, the parts of the, uh, well, different parts of the essay itself. And yes. now it's time to hear their answers. Yeah. So, over to you, Miss Hidayah. Yes, so I hope that everyone out there are ready to listen to their answers. Okay, so. Shall we start with the introduction part? Yes. Um, okay. Who has the introduction? Share. Okay, who's doing the introduction part just okay. now? Oh, Khatija. Yes. Okay, Khatija, please. Okay, um, team sports are when one group or team plays against another group or team in a competition. For instance, the team members work together to achieve a common goal. Oh. Wow. All right, that's Is good. That great. I... Oh, sorry. Before that, because we are uh, teaching about linking words, what are the linking words that you using, Hadija? Uh, for instance. For instance. Yes, good and I job. think she used it really, really well. Thank you yeah, so much. Good Yay. job. Okay, we'll go to the. Okay, just now, Hadija already mentioned about the the team sport, right? Yeah. So, uh, maybe you can add on uh, because. You still remember the question just now, your participation in the activities. So maybe in the introduction part, you can add that. Okay. Ah, yeah. So again, it's to help you to get marked in the content point mark. Okay. Good job, Harija. Okay, let us move on to our first point. Okay. So we're going to start with pros or cons? First? Yeah, we start with pro. pros. Okay. Okay, thank you, Harija. So I think uh, for pros, we have Aina and uh, hmm. Shakir. Okay, who's going to do the first that. point for pro? Me. Okay, Aina, good job. Uh, firstly, players learn to cooperate to each other and work towards a common goal. Furthermore, it helps them to build a character, friendship, and skills. In conclusion, when the team stand well for the game, they will end up uh, on the winning. Okay, so what are the leaking words that you are using just now? Uh, I am using firstly, furthermore, and in conclusion. Okay, I would like to highlight here. Thank you. Good job, Aina. Good job. But I would, I would like to highlight here because we still have another point, right? So don't use in conclusion. Okay, if we finish all the points in pros, yes, you can use the in conclusion phrase. Okay, all right. so good job then. Remember Thank you so that. much. Okay, good job, Aina. How about we move on to the second point uh, in pro? Shakir for uh, same interest, if I'm not mistaken. Shakir, is it Shakir? Oh, yeah. Uh, secondly, the team spots players can meet people with the same interest as them and become more sociable. Obviously, they can get along because of the same interest. Uh, for the leaking words, I would I use the secondly and obviously. Oh, good try. Secondly on and obviously. So, what we can improve on that sentence? Actually, you can give examples. Okay. Ah, yeah. so uh, so your sentence would be clear. Okay. Okay. Good try, Shaike. Okay, right. so we have finished with the pro. Mm -hmm. How about we continue with the cons? All okay, right. so who will start um, for the uh, cons? I the think first it's between point. Nadra and Nora. Ah, okay. Which one will start first? <laughs> okay, it's Nadra. Nadra? Okay, Nadra. Um, firstly, being too dependent on each other would be a disadvantage for a group. Therefore, as a team, we should trust on each other without putting the pressure on them. And every player uh, should do their own part with all their might. Okay, good job. So what are the linking words that you using just now? I'm using firstly and therefore. Okay, firstly and therefore. So you guys realize that Nadra, are using, uh, Nadra is using the firstly, right? Yeah. So why she can use that? Because it, it is the starting of the new topic. Yes, for so, cons. So don't worry, you can use firstly for the second, uh, yes, for the cons. Yeah. Good job. Good job, Nadra. Yay. Okay. And, and I think next is the uh, last point. Yes? Nora. Yeah, right? Nora. Uh, firstly, players should be able to communicate with each other 
Uh, furthermore, in the same sport, not all pairs can get along towards each other. For example, follow me with the Frederigo, bad tempers and anti-social behavior are the challenges. Therefore, I believe that being in a team sport also have the consequences. Okay, so what are the linking words that you, you are using just now? Uh, I'm using furthermore, furthermore, for example, and I believe. Oh wow, there's a lot. Good job. So, um, so thank you for that. Yes, it's very, very well done. Oh, very, yeah, very, it's very, good very job. Very good, actually. Yes. Yeah, they can and get then, full mark for organization. Yes, we are slowly running out of time, but I think uh, we have one more. Uh, yeah. We have time for just one more for, for the what, closing. The I think we have ha Hanani. Hanani, yes. Yes, Hanani, please. In conclusion, team sports will in more benefits than disadvantages to the player, either mentally or physically. To sum up, some people prefer to play in a team with their friends because it's giving more fight. Last but not least, but not least let's be, be happy and let's do sport. Okay, what are the linking words you are using, using just now? In conclusion, mm -hmm. to sum up and last but not least. Yes, good. Good job, everyone. All right, great <laughs> job there by our students. I think I'll just uh, mention their names again, yeah. uh, which is uh, Alif, Katija, Nadira, uh, Nadra, Aina, Nurul, as well as Nora. But before we end, maybe uh, Miss Hidayah, you can actually uh, say a few words, very short words uh, for our uh, conclusion for today. So I hope that everyone has learned. We are learning about to plan an essay, presenting advantage and disadvantages, or pro and cons. And we also learn to use linking words or phrases. So remember, um, you need to study hard. Inshallah, everything will be okay if you put trust on your teachers and to the government and also your parents. All right. Thank you so much, Ms. Hidayah, for that. And of course, thank you for all of you who has watched or tuned in to this show. Again, make sure you follow the SOPs in place in our battle against COVID-19. And we'll see you in the next episode for Road to Success, SPM 2021. Bye-bye. Bye. Didik TV, KPM. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Saya ingin mengucapkan selamat menduduki peperiksaan pada anak anda saya, Farah Adibah Bidi Gawawi. Belajarlah bersungguh-sungguh supaya mendapat kecemerlangan dalam peperiksaan SPM 2021. Semoga dapat menjawab dengan tenang dan dipermudahkan segalanya. Mak sayang adik. Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera. Saya Zainuddin ingin mengucapkan selamat maju jaya dan mendoakan kejayaan buat anak kesayangan saya, Nuzarifah serta pelajar-pelajar SAM bagan terap yang akan menduduki peperiksaan SPM tahun ini. Belajarlah dengan tekun dan pastikan kecemerlangan menjadi sebahagian dari budaya hidup kita. Jangan putus asa, teruskan berusaha dan semoga kejayaan menjadi milik anda semua. Bye-bye sayang and good luck.